Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus. I'm moon rising in Venus so I hope you're well. As always the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Taurus. Let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. Message for Taurus. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. It's a card of reaping the fruits of your labour. Oh, <laughs> well, that's lovely. We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing and Orchestration is at play here. Good luck, good fortune. With the Four of Wands, Happy Home, Happy Family, Celebrations, Four Corners of Stability and Security. Immediate past, we have the Page of Wands. Immediate future, we have the Lovers. Bottom two cards, the Seven of Wands. And Temperance. Okay. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus for the week ahead. Message for Taurus. Two cards. We have Regeneration, yes. Number 46. You can see that that kind of tree has had bare branches, you know, but it hadn't ended, it hadn't died. There is an opportunity to regenerate something here. You can see it sprouting again with new leaves. A higher power, number four. Wow, that's beautiful. A higher power at work here. I mean, good luck, good fortune, bring in regeneration. Okay, I'm going to pull you a crystal angel message. What do we have for Taurus? Message for Taurus for the week ahead message for Taurus. This is lovely energy. As you write, deep emotional healing, your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. This is taking care of you, pampering you. We have Sugalite. Uh, own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. <laughs> something holds potential here it feels like the um, uh, something is beginning to sprout you can see the wand here that this page holds it holds potential generally linked with a new path the page of wands can be a message as well but this feels like uh, there is some uh, it feels like something exciting coming in or something holds potential here that it is beginning to sprout. It is beginning to maybe give you heart in some way. For a lot of you, this feels like uh, money, career and financial aspects. It feels like that sense of a turning point. And again, the, the sense of celebration with the Four of Wands. Four of Wands can be very celebratory energy. Um, this definitely feels, it could involve moving or relocating as well with this energy. Uh, with a home and property but I mean this generally is that sense of, of real feeling of, of celebratory energy why because um, it looks like there's something coming in divine timing and orchestration is at play 
bringing in some kind of opportunity that is making you feel that you're reaping the fruits of your labor. The Nine of Pentacles can be standing in our own two feet in our own abundance. It's material wealth, abundance, money. It's money, it's material success. Uh, but you've worked for it. And this is, again, standing on your own two feet in your own success, in your own abundance. You make it happen. I think that, I mean, it feels like something is giving you heart. You feel potential with a new path, maybe opening up for you here. And then it's coming in. This is the present energy. There is, again, that sense of uh, opportunity being offered to you. Now that there are some choices to make or decisions here, Taurus. Now, so for some of you, it could well be moving or relocating, but I'm not really feeling that. This feels that sense of harmony. Uh, we have the lovers, two people. And now the, the lovers can also be a partnership. For those of you who own your own business, it might well be the potential that you see in terms of your own business. You think that your own business is going to fail potentially. And then that, that there is that seed of something happening here that is growing and bringing regeneration to something that you feel you might have to let go of. Um, again, this can be very powerful in terms of new business partnerships or getting a partner on board. Cash injection would be the Ace of, of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles can be a new job, a new business opportunity, um, a new business path or career path, or it can represent a, a sum of money it's abundance. Um, so this this definitely feels here um, that there could well be a potential partner or partnership either being offered to you or getting a partner on board, depending on whether it's a job or a partnership that you're being offered or whether it's to do with getting a partner on board in an existing business. The same energy applies. Now, the lovers can also be about love, romance, and relationships too, especially with the Four of Wands. Again, it might well be that you're getting the stability back here and you're getting that sense of harmony back, you know, uh, in your energy. This can be quite a harmonious energy too. But the same energy applies. Um, there is that sense here now of, of what do we do next? And these could be the choices that you're making and the decisions that you're making. You likely want to, def want to fortify yourself and defend yourself against potential changes in the future. I mean, this is about um, putting things in place that defend and protect you against change, ultimately, you know, uh, keeping things on an even keel. And that's what you want to do here, Taurus. I feel that you're, there is regeneration here. But I think that you're now putting in safeguards. Now, for some of you, this could well be about savings. For others of you, it could well be, you know, putting money aside to, to weather all storms. Uh, for others of you, it could well be to do with, um, again, safeguarding and putting things in place to protect yourself. For some of you, there could well, I mean, this can be things like insurance policies and, um, you know, practical things of that nature that safeguard you against, against challenges happening. You know, some of you, if you've been through, uh, I mean, some of you could be joining unions. Um, you understand what I'm saying. It depends what the specifics were. But something that you, I think that you have, have it's like that sense that, I mean, this is powerful uh, reinventing yourself, almost like uh, that sense of regeneration and renewal, uh, coming back from something that was nearly... Uh, lost or or coming back from something that has been been challenging in some way where things have been very very depleted but the same energy applies I mean you're putting things you're safeguarding for the future now moving forward because there is a sense of caution energy you're being very cautious in terms of how you defend and protect yourself moving forward and making some clear choices and decisions likely so that this never happens again. And what those specifics are, what those practicalities are, I mean, you'll know. Uh, but, you know, it's however this applies to you. This would also be advice for you as well. All right. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. As a message from heaven, whatever heaven means to you. We have... 
Be creative. Look for ways to build, grow and manifest. Number 36. Find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Take the first step. I mean, this is so lovely. I think that you're taking the first step. I think you have done. And there's some kind of something holds potential here that is bringing in, I feel, new abundance. You know, be thankful. You know, this, I mean, I, I want to say here, I mean, we always should be thankful and grateful, but, you know, this is good luck, good fortune. Divine timing and orchestration is, is bringing you in a little gift. Well, it's a significant gift. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.